What's up, guys? So, um, yeah, this video is going to be a little less serious than usual. A little more lighthearted, I should say. It's concerning dating. And now I know what you guys are gonna say. You're gonna be like, oh, well, he's a teenager. He's gonna talk about his social life, and I don't wanna listen. Well, not quite. See, I wanted to talk about dating in the context of religion. Oftentimes, I've been told by believers that accepting God will give you a sense of pleasure, a sense of meaning, and a sense of sort of enjoyment overall, and an improvement in their quality of life, and, you know, I've never quite seen that. Firstly, it is irrelevant to me whether accepting God is going to make me happy or miserable, because I'd rather be miserable and know the truth than happy and completely ignorant. But secondly, I have actually never seen the appeal for having some sort of omniscient, omnipotent guard dog watching over your life. Take dating, for instance. Um, I have actually seen this more than once, and... To me, it's one of the saddest things ever about religion. I've seen girls break up with guys because they felt that they were being taken away from their relationship from God. Really. Because God, of course, cares about who you're going to date and what you do in the time that you spend with your significant other. And in another similar instance, a guy I know wrote a whole long Facebook spiel about um, having a crush on a girl. And then when the girl rejected him, he was relieved because he had finally found God once again. Yeah, it's the same God that created the universe, the same God that apparently sacrificed himself on a cross to bear the sins for all mankind, and he busies himself with what you do in your spare time. It's not that I'm trying to be deliberately insulting or incendiary, but what the flying fuck? If God is really that petty and that particular about what you do, apart from believing and praising and worshipping him 24-7. This doesn't seem like a very appealing god to be worshipping in the first place. Well, screw that. This doesn't sound like a god worth worshipping at all. It sounds more like a nagging housewife, like, Oh, are you going to go out? Who are you going to go out with? Oh, no, I take that back. You can't go. You have to listen to me, and you have to listen to everything I say, because I know everything. And, uh, yeah, if you do anything that I don't like, then I'm gonna punish you for it. But you can't hold me accountable because I know everything. And I'm always right. Like, this sounds more like a sociopathic, psychopathic, crazy, deluded bitch of a housewife. Not some omnibenevolent god. And again, I wouldn't be using those very same words if I could find a more suitable synonym for them. But the thing is, I can't. There's no other way to describe what I perceive to be the relationship between the Judeo-Christian God and Christians, except to be the relationship between a nagging housewife and her henpecked husband. It is perfectly okay to have feelings for a guy or a girl, no matter what your gender might be. It's also perfectly okay to Feel free to do what you will with your particular partner as long as they are consenting and as long as it does not endanger anyone else in the process. And if your god seems to have a problem with this, or if your god just needs too much time out of your schedule so that you have to spend it worshipping and kissing his ass 24-7 rather than spending it with someone who actually cares about you that you can prove cares about you, then, yeah, I don't see what the point is. Yeah, that's how I feel about this relationship between God and his followers. But, again, I've said this before and I'll say it again, I don't mind dating someone who's partly religious or actually religious. 
because I feel that what they believe and what I believe should be completely irrelevant. As long as we have true feelings of love for one another, then why should anything else matter? But anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and may the truth always be heard. Later.